Part one of this series on a drag function synthesizer gives an overview of what it does and how it benefits shooters. This program processes the downrange data produced by any ballistics calculator to synthesize a drag function. I'll demonstrate that the synthesized drag function closely matches the source drag function that produced that data. As many of you know, Hornady is using Doppler radar to create custom drag functions for many of their bullets, as well as bullets from other manufacturers. At the time of this video, Hornady only seems to employ their custom drag functions as part of their website's 4 degree of freedom calculator. Knowing that shooters will want to study the data produced by their 4 degree of freedom calculator, they have included a download spreadsheet button at the end of the results page. This gives shooters an easy means of comparing these Doppler radar drag functions to G1 and G7 using the drag function synthesizer. Finally, I'll show how you can get this software for free. Let's start with a quick overview of the software. You can get to the detailed instructions by scrolling down. You'll see here we have the parameters for the ICAO standard conditions listed. That's important because any of the input files you use should be generated under ICO standard conditions. We have an edit box for the bullet weight and for the bullet diameter, but you don't need to set these unless you're exporting the drag function. When you install the program, you'll see by default it'll be under this directory. And we also install sample data files. And I'm going to look at the G1 standard drag function. These were generated in Ballistic Explorer using a standard G1 drag function under ICAO conditions. This file was generated with a 5500 foot per second muzzle velocity. Now I've removed all but the range and the velocity from that file just to demonstrate that the drag function synthesizer only uses range and velocity. And you can see here that the velocity has dropped to 2450 feet per second at 2500 yards. The next file overlaps that by starting at 2600 feet per second and you'll see that the next one overlaps it and the next one overlaps it. So we have continuous overlapping coverage from 5500 feet per second down into the subsonic range. Now in the case of the G1 I needed four files to do that. Most often you only need two files. So we we'll select that file. Now we're actually going to process all the files in that folder, those four files, by selecting this. So here we go. So what we're looking at is a drag versus velocity graph. You may not be familiar with this because you're used to looking at a drag coefficient versus velocity graph. We cover this in more detail in our G1 versus G7 drag function video. So I'm going to shut the standard drag function off, which is in green. We're going to look at the synthesized drag function, the custom drag function in red. And when I turn it back on, you'll see they're almost a perfect match. Now we can look at more detail to see how well the synthesized drag function matches with the drag function that was used to create the data files that we just processed. We have a proof report, and what that does is it measures the difference between the source files that we just loaded and the ones generated with the synthesized drag function to see how much difference there is in predicted velocity at range. So going from the muzzle to 2,500 yards, the maximum difference was 2.6 feet per second at 525 yards. The average difference was only negative 0.7 feet per second, and we do this for the other file as well. Now we're going to go and look at the relative drop graph. So in this graph, the synthesized drag function in red is the baseline, and we're trying to determine the, the prediction's difference if I use the standard drag function versus the synthesized drag function. So here we have the G1 in green and we can see out to 1200 yards we only have 0 .00 MOA difference in drop and all the way out to 2000 yards we still only have 0 .006 MOA. So that demonstrates the accuracy with which the drag function synthesizer can capture or reproduce the drag function that was used to generate the source files. So now we're going to go look at some Hornady bullets. So I've already downloaded the Hornady bullets from the Hornady website, the ones that are 
offered for the four degree freedom calculator and there's quite a list of them here we can see we've got Berger, Hornady, Lafua or Lapua as it's pronounced in the US and Sierra there's over 60 here at the time of this video and they seem to be adding more all the time so I'm going to go in and select a six and a half millimeter 143 grain ELD X and here you can see the contents of this file is just as it was generated on the website and downloaded using their download spreadsheet button all I've done is add the velocity to the end of the file name so I can keep track of them and I've selected that one and I'm going to click open and I'm going to go ahead and process it so here we can see in red the synthesized drag function we call it custom versus the G7 standard drag function and we can go ahead and we can use this control to look at the subsonic and transonic region and we can move it around here and we can change the size that we're looking at we also can change from Mach to feet per second which makes more sense to people and we can manipulate the standard drag function if we want to match up different areas of it whatever our interests are we can also bring up the G1 drag function yeah let's go ahead and look at relative drop and here we can see the custom drag function is the baseline the G7 is the standard drag function and we can see how much the computer predicted differences would be between the custom and the standard G7 and so here we have a BC that's based on a 3,000 foot per second muzzle velocity and a thousand yard range. Now the one thing that no manufacturer knows is what muzzle velocity are you going to use their bullet at and over what range do you intend to shoot it at. And so typically a lot of times the muzzle, the BC is generated at a hundred yards. So you can see here instead of a 314 you get a 334 and so by the 800 yards or so we're well over what we were before we're coming up to yeah a full click on a, most scopes had it been generated at 300 yards it's some improvement by the time we get out to 800 yards we're getting a lot of improvement let's go with the thousand yards and now we can see, okay, we're within 0.2 MOA all the way out to about 1,300 yards relative to using the custom drag function. So the issue here, though, is, is with every barrel, the BC of the bullet will change a little bit. It also depends on the velocity that the bullet is shot at. And so the only way to know what your real BC is, is to measure it. There's two ways that people do that. It's either with observed drop. Most shooters know what that is, where you use a group and you try to determine if your center of your group is lower or higher than the computer predictions. And then you change your parameters like your BC and your computer predictions so that they match your observed drop. There's also another way where you can actually measure muzzle velocity and BC at long range with every shot and that's using Ehlers System 88 and so we provide a link where you can get more information on this instrument uh, they have a picture book with many pictures showing how it's set up how it's used there's acoustic targets down at the far range that can be quite large so this doesn't take super marksmanship to place the bullet over them and you have your sky screens up at the beginning here where you measure muzzle velocity and will calculate ballistic coefficient on every shot and so we're going to go back and we're going to load up an additional uh, drag function from Hornady and this time we're going to load up the 7 millimeter 175 grain ELDX and we're going to calculate and here you can see this bullet closely matches with G7. We look at relative drop again. 
and you can see we're within 0 0.0035 MOA out to long range here so out to 1500 yards so with some bullets are going to match really well with the G7 and some bullets will match better with G1 and you can determine with the drag function synthesizer which bullets best match the standard drag functions in case whatever calculator you're using in the field or phone app only supports G1 and G7. Nevertheless, you still need to true your particular rifle and ammo to get the true BC that will give you these actual results in the real world. Now, the drag function synthesizer is also able to export drag functions that they can be used in Ballistic Explorer to further research the subject. And we'll get into that in the following videos. To get your own free copy of the software, just go to our website at www.dexadyne.com. On the main page, use the link to get to our free software. You'll find out more information about that software and a link to download it. And thank you for watching this video.